Those of you who listen to colorful radio will be familiar with the voice of DJ Freestyle who presents the popular Saturday afternoon program Afrobeats from 4 to 7. DJ Freestyle, aka Clients Davis, has almost single-handedly raised the profiles of African music and artists in the UK media. As an African musician, I appreciate the wonderful work he has done for Africa and his native Salon. Freestyle has interviewed scores of African musicians on his Afrobeats program, which entertains and informs us and has also identified a gap in the online music market for African music genre. So, who is this media champion of African music who has and continues to do such sterling work for African musicians and for African music? Well, I had the opportunity to interview and observe DJ Freestyle at work on Saturday the 19th of April. And yes, you guessed it, I grabbed it with both hands. Freestyle has been interviewing us. It's time to find out who is DJ Freestyle. The man behind the voice of Afrobeats are colorful. Why Freestyle? Thank you for the question. Why Freestyle? Um, I think the name Freestyle sits well with me as an individual. Uh, this came about uh, about 15 or so years ago when I was about to do my first radio um, broadcasting and um, went through a series of names uh, because you know you are when you're a sort of different personality. Um, so yeah, so freestyle was uh, what I, you know, thought that suit my personality as an individual, especially when I'm from Sierra Leone, I'm born in Freetown, and, uh, you know, I, you know, I've got a style, so it's his freestyle. What is a day's work for DJ Freestyle in the office? Very hectic, very exciting, um, full of fun and um, and yeah it's, it's, it's amazing um, being a radio presenter uh, of course um, you know it takes a lot of hard part of um, organization uh, one has to really have a strong sense of uh, organization I you know um, for example research artist who is in a country who is doing what um, also gathering information um, also being able to adhere to the, the rules of um, uh, broadcasting rules um, also to be able to uh, um, make the show much more entertaining Fun. So, on the whole, day's work really is not one that uh, is, uh, I think, it's very exciting. It's a very exciting uh, preparation towards uh, my radio uh, programs. Challenging uh, as well, I expect. It's very challenging because you have to keep the listeners interested, informative also on the edge at all times um yeah um, but what i do on my show i try as best as possible to make it informative um, with a lot of music that you will not hear on a day-to-day -day basis artists that people have forgotten about um also to make it much more informative bringing you know issues that are affecting or is going on um, within the continent and also here in the diaspora. So yeah, these were very challenging but fun. You, I noticed that you seem to have a, a what should I say, a great way with people and um, when you're interviewing artists, they tend to be comfortable in your company. What's your secret? What's the secret? I think, you know, um, you have to be a people's skilled 
you know, in radio broadcasting is about speech content and I try to make sure I deliver those, you, you know, and also you, you're dealing with different kinds of people from different kinds of backgrounds, so my sort of university is about just like the name speak of itself, freestyle, I let them actually develop this sense of freedom within my presence. Also, uh, make them comfortable because when you're actually extracting information from artists, you have to, or anybody really, you have to just make them comfortable in order for them to be relaxed and deliver the information you seek after. So, um, I think it's just me as a person, really, as I said, it's about how people's skills because I can, um, I can work and speak and to get involved, associate myself with different um, groups of people um, at any given time um, and I think it's a skill for, you know, a radio presenter or a media personnel. Yeah, I've experienced that um, ability of yours as well, you know, so I understand what you're talking about. What is your vision for Sierra Leone in the next 10 years? My vision for Sierra Leone in the next 10 years? Um, you mean personally as a, as a radio presenter or in terms of generally how I see the country moving on in the next 10 years? Um, as a Sierra Leonean, what do you see for your country? Well, what everyone, do you want for your country? Everyone will want to see uh, a developing, progressive, um, inclusive, um, nation with the ability of cultural and traditional embracement. So that's what I would love to see because um, for the past so many years I haven't seen that. So I will hope that in the next 10 years um, freestyle through writing, broadcasting and um, you know would and, and the liberal contribution that I want to um, impact on in Sierra Leone. I would love to see uh, a country that is um, developing um, by including um, the, the, the talent and the skills of its citizens. I would like to see us um, in the next 10 years able to focus on our great, um, you know, and, um, scholars, ancestors, you know, tribesmen who have all helped to uh, bring about freedom from colonial mentality. Also, I would like to see young children embarked in education um, in terms of understanding their cultural um, um, way of life and traditional principles as well. I would love to see an inclusion of all the tribes in Sierra Leone um, being somehow included in the school curriculum so that um, people would not forget, especially young people, um, and would be able to be able to speak and be proud of their native languages. That's what I would like to see in the next 10 years in Sierra Leone. I noticed that you are a writer as well, you write columns for is it magazines or newspapers. Tell us a bit about that. Um, well, it, I have, I like to discuss, I like to communicate, um, and also I've been contributing in various newspapers here in the UK. Um, now I'm actually subscribing an article on um, a news um, paper called Afro London. Um, yeah, I just write on issues that I feel um, needs to be talked about, um, issues that are um, exciting, you know, en enlightening, and also maybe thought-provoking, but at the same time, offer solutions and and, 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 and to the problem. So it's sort of like a balanced um, um, way that I articulate um, my writing, and I also find it very important as well because um, it enables me to, as an individual, to. Um, had a wider view on a different sort of subject um, um, and also um, been able to articulate and, and bring to um, you know the table knowledge which is, which is consistent with the teacher's philosophy of learning for life that's right never stop learning and lifelong learning yeah 
What next for DJ Freestyle? What is your ambition, personally? Where do you want to go? Well, I would like to go where um, the good things are going. <laughs> I would like to go where um, the peace is going. You know, I would like to go where love and justice exist um, in respect of um, your size or your personality, your structure or your shade. I would like to go where um, ordinary people feel safe and secure. Um, I would like to go where there is no threat or fear of anyone's life for doing, saying, or behaving in a way that is not offensive or life-threatening to others. What about career-wise? Um, career-wise, I'll be carrying the same thing I've been carrying for years, which is like broadcasting, writing. Also, I'm a, I'm a, uh, uh, I, I paint as well, so I draw. Um, something that I've not been able to take on full time. But um, I like to, in terms of Sierra Leone, for example, probably that's where we live into, um, I, I would like to help um, bring about, in my own way, um, the things I've just suggested to you where I'm heading. You know, in terms of um, bringing cultural awareness um, to the country. Um, you know, so I would love to work with young people, um, um, groups, organizations, um, to, to, you know, to offer my skills and knowledge to um, the country. Okay, DJ Freestyle. Your style, my, my style, style freestyle. freestyle. Thank you very much indeed. You know, how we can make that popular and great. You know, people talk about because we don't vote and things like that. I'm going to just release an album, my vote count. So I'm thinking, does that include me? Does my vote count? But he's saying definitely their vote count. And this is Yabba Fong's time. And they just from the album, my vote counts and the main money. Well, I hope you're having a really good time. The weather is out, it's lovely out there. The sun is shining. I hope you got a the radio turn up really loud in the garden listening to freestyle. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see you going to the language. Yeah, let, let's do it. Monday. Wali, I'm not going Then, have you do that again? Sorry. Wali, <laughs> Wali, <laughs> is it? Wali. Wali. Yes. That's, hello. That, that, that's, that's the limba, which is, you know, because I try, I try my utmost best to kind of respect the tradition. Of my guest here. I'm from Sierra Leone, I'm from the Limba, which from there in the north of Sierra Leone. Um, so, how come now you are doing music and what is your what is your aim in terms of going into music? Um, my aim is to inspire people, especially the young ones, especially people from my country, knowing what we've been through for the last 15 years. Yes. So yeah, that was my aim. And of course, I like I love music. So I wanted people to hear me, what I do, hear my lyrics, my yes. message, yes. my voice. Yes. And I love performing, really. I love singing and performing. So I've been doing it since young age, really. So from singing in the church, yes. the church choirs, in the Gambia, in Sierra Leone. Yeah. And then I moved on, started playing with bands when I was in the Gambia. Right. And of course, I did some karaoke. Uh -huh. yeah. And then went back to Sierra Leone. Music. So I went to music academy. In Sierra Leone. Yeah, in Sierra Leone. So take note, I mean people, um, you know, music has actually been studied in Sierra Leone, Balanta music. Oh yeah, it's been there for ages really. Balanta music academy has been around for a long, long time. We, and in fact the music we study here is always a music is general, it's general. Yeah. We, we take the exams we take. They are the Royal Schools of Music, so it's directly from the UK. So all my qualifications are for grade five is a fury and I put this station right there. <laughs> Let me just drop that in. Uh, you have to. <laughs> yeah, <man. laughs> and um, yeah, it's from the Royal Schools of Music. Because the reason why I said you have to, because a lot of people Freestyle has hosted scores of African musicians and even non-African musicians who are interested in producing African music, among which are the great Bonnie Mac, King Masco, Sudseya, the Dovi Kosh, Follow Graph, Abdul TJ, 
Abdullahi Sam, Mozi Kunde, Dele Sassani, Yabba Funk, Bunton Cole, and the great Papa Milo of the Zambezi experience. And also, not forgetting, the great Dichamp. Up till today, it's very difficult to search online for African music because there is no recognized genre of African music, and this is a missed business opportunity. Freestyle is playing a major role in raising public awareness of African genres among music lovers, popular venues, and online stores, thereby carving out an identity for African music and exerting choices for music lovers. So why not do your beat for African music and be entertained by tuning in to Colorful on Saturday afternoons? Get involved in raising the profiles of African music in the UK.